Welcome to support videos for workload automations video series. This video will demonstrate how to execute a command immediately before or after running a contram job. In version 7 and earlier, we will define percentage percentage pre CMD to execute a command before the contram job and percentage percentage post CMD to execute a command after the contram job under the percentage percentage set tag. For version 8 and higher, we can use the field of pre-execution and post-execution command in the job definition form for this function. Now, let's have a demonstration so to have a better understanding. For example, we have a simple contram job which will run a hello world.sh script. For this job, you would like to lock the job starting and ending time of the job execution to an external text file. To achieve this, we can simply put the command into the field of pre-execution and post-execution command. For example, for the pre-execution command, we will put the commands to echo the start time into the file. And we can do the same to echo the end time in the post-execution command field. Now, once we have verified the job definition, we will order the job for execution and check the execution status. Once the job has been ordered, it will be submitted for executions on the contracts agent. And when the job has completed the execution, a text file will be created. Now, let's first verify that the text file is being created by the contract job and then we will ensure that the start time and end time of the job are echoed into the text file by the pre and post execution command. As you can see here, the start time and end time is recorded into the file. Do take note that these parameters are not relevant for ZOS job and the contract service and agent version must be higher than 6.0.01. Additionally, these parameters can only be applied on job level and not smart photos level. There are a few more points to take note of. Contrain module jobs cannot be defined with pre-CMD and post-CMD. The execution codes of pre-CMD and post-CMD will not affect the job execution completion codes. And lastly, the pre-CMD and post-CMD execution is independent of the actual job execution. That concludes this Control M Solutions video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channels for more videos like this. Thank you.